I'm here with Tay Guan Hin, who's the Hi. regional seat creative director for Southeast Asia for JWT, and he was the head of jury this year for Outdoor. So my first question is, there was something very new. There were two Grand Prix for Outdoor this year. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. I think previous years there's been a lot of debate on what is, the, you know, what's truly outdoor. So um, and what the organizers have thought of was because. It was a bit unfair for a great ambient piece to be competing against a very traditional flat piece medium. So they decided to, you know, um, you know, play on even grounds and compete on um, on on a fair basis. So what they've done is um, they've um, split it up, <coughs> and as you, as, you, as you can imagine, the previous outdoor winners or Grand Prix winners were given to ambient pieces. So I think this is a good way to sort of um, split the, the category. Yes, and what was the more traditional piece that won the Grand Prix? Oh, um, Diesel, the Be right. Stupid campaign. And why did you guys like Be Stupid? Because it was okay. so stupid? It's a good question. I think number one, we were obviously trying to award pieces that is uh, that, that stands for something. So, second of all, it's a big global brand. I mean, um, as I was saying, even in conservative Singapore, I've seen the end, so it, it, it sort of traveled really well. The, the, I think the most important thing is that diesel has always been controversy, and I think this is no different. So, obviously, you know, be stupid. There's a lot of interpretation. I mean, the word stupid. Today is brilliant. I mean, like bad is it's good. Exactly. So um, I think that I mean you could easily be you know be free, be be yourself, be you know whatever it is. But basically, it's a campaign that tells people not to be too serious and smart is stupid. <laughs> so you know in a way you know be stupid. So I think there were a lot of um, top value. And even though um, you know some people might hate it, some people might love it. But you can't deny that it created a conversation between the consumers and to you know people that you know didn't like it. And talk a little bit about the uh, ambient winner. Oh, okay. It is a great piece of um, installation from Argentina for one of the largest uh, beer brands. I believe it's called um, um, Andy. Right. Yeah. And uh, what we really liked about it, which um, I mean, it, it was. Um, a soundproof telephone booth that men could step in and it would create ambient noise to to to, um, to fake or to, to lie or cheat your girlfriend thinking there was somewhere else. For example, you could create a noise to um, to it's a, like for example um, there was there was one that's a kidnap situation. So you could be, you know, you could be kidnapped. So they're kind of absurd, but at the same time, it really builds, um, you know, builds affinity to the, you know, to consumer. Yeah, well, yeah. it doesn't exactly build trust for your girlfriend, though. Well, yeah, but it's a beer brand. And I think um, 